might be the only female to ever admit this. I might. But having a perfect man will probably scare me. It, it probably will. And it's not the fact that I don't want a good man. It's not. I really do want a good man. I, I really wholeheartedly do. But the way life has happened and the way I had to learn to live life, I feel like my my dominance and my alpha attitude with the female, I would mess it up. Yep. I mess it up. Because I've been on my own for so long. On my own. I mean, like, paying my own bills, taking care of myself, house bills, car, my car maintenance, everything I do, I do for myself. 100% I do for myself. I ain't never had a man say, I pay your rent or I pay your bills or I do this for your car, make sure your car fix. This everything. is the reason why you don't have a man. What happened to the Miss Independent? I don't need a man. I can do it all by myself. Maybe you can do bad all by yourself. What happened to that? Now, all of a sudden, life is getting too hard. And now you want a man. In order for you to get a man, you have to be a feminine woman. Chances are you're not a feminine woman. Hence, why you don't have a man. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. So having a man that come in and he's fulfilling these roles and he's taking care, like legitimately taking care of you financially and everything else, I wouldn't know. I'm a struggle. I'm a struggle trying to let that man take that role because it's something I'm used to doing. I'm used to take care of me. I'm not waiting for nobody. I'm not waiting for nobody to do nothing for me. If my car break down, baby, I will go on YouTube to figure out how to do it myself and get it done because I'm not waiting for nobody. But I want something done. I want something done. So I feel like I would struggle with letting a man just come in and have complete control and do his thing. Although it is something I want and I crave. I do. I want a man to help me just get rid of some of these burdens. I'm tired. I'm tired of being a strong, dominant female. I'm tired of it. I do want a man to come and take his respectful role in my life. I do. A masculine woman creates a masculine woman. When you look at dating, you have to understand that we date based on how we were raised. When you look at women that say, I'm used to doing it by myself. I'm used to living by myself. I'm used to fixing cars and not waiting on anybody. Talk to that woman's mother. I can almost guarantee you that her mother did the same thing. Being a single mother in life is almost genetic. The mother is a single mother. The daughter is a single mother. The daughter raises another single mother and they all have the same trope. They all blame men. They don't take accountability for what they do. They blame men. So the reason why you see this woman saying things like, I'm not used to a man doing everything. I would mess it up. I would do this. I would mess it up. I would do this. Is because she doesn't know how to be a feminine woman. Of course you're going to mess it up because it is not in a woman's nature to be a alpha female. Nope. It is not in a woman's nature to do for herself, to provide for herself, to live by herself. It is in a woman's nature to have a man and then have that man take care of her. That is a female's nature. If you look at the animal kingdom, what? Female species of animal.
is Zolo. The hyena. The hyenas are raised and run by the females. And what are hyenas? They're aggressive. They're dominant. They're mean. They're territorial. Everybody else in the animal kingdom has a man. They respect the man. They revere the man. See, modern women are like hyenas. They're too dominant. They're too masculine. And then you wonder why a masculine woman and a masculine man never get along. Because it's not in your feminine nature to be that way. You were taught to be that way by your mother, by your grandmother, by your auntie, by your sister. Somebody in your family taught you how to be like a hyena. I just want to read this comment. A comment that was left by a commenter by the name of Nikki. Shout out to Nikki, who gave me permission to use this comment in my video. It reads as follows. I'm so glad I have a hardworking husband. Keyword there, husband. Oh. He comes home to a hot dinner every night, oh. and he gets a lunch on his lunch break, and I'm Happy to provide food and housework as he acts like a real man from the olden days. Oh! A lot of you women don't get it. This is why you're single. You can't even cook a guy a meal and pack a lunch, but you want a real man? She goes on to say, I'm not about modern relationships. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm not a feminist. Yes! Yes! I grew up in not one, but a two parent home. Damn. My parents grew up in two parent homes and they all went to church. I got lucky to be raised towards the end of that lifestyle, being born in the early 80s. Shout out to all my 80s babies in the house. I watched good, healthy relationships. I had friends who did not have that, and I saw the difference between our homes and lifestyles. I've always wanted a man who acted like my father and especially like my grandfather. See, so many women out here don't get that and she dropped a nugget of truth. I always wanted a man that acted like my father and my grandfather because a lot of you women, you never had a father, you never had a positive male in, you never had a positive male in your life, and as a result, you choose men based on how your mother chose men. So then when you go out on the dating market, you're aggressive, you're mean, you're callous, you have the RBF. For those of you who don't know what an RBF is, look it up. You walk around as if you're uninviting, but then somebody has to get to know you first in order for you to let your guard down. That symbolizes that you've been hurt in the past. So you take that hurt, that pain, that manly energy, and you bring it to a man. See, so many black women are too much of a dominant force because society teaches you to be like that. Your mother teaches you to be like that. And your circumstances teaches you to be like that why do you think section eight was primarily in the black community black women were incentivized by the federal government to not have a man they were incentivized they were 
told you don't need a man, but we're going to take care of you. Thus, the single mother was born. I don't need a man. I'm independent. I can do it all by myself. That's the result of being a single mother, being a single woman, doing it all by yourself. So when you're doing life by yourself, you become bitter because you see all of your friends and your family members and your cousins and your kinfolk. You see all of your friends getting married, your family getting married, and then you're a part of the family. Nobody is married and you're upset. You get invited to a wedding, but deep down in your heart, you want to be the bride. You get invited on outings with your girlfriends, but everybody has a man but Jim. So you feel like a third wheel. So then in order to escape that, you hang around other bitter black women such as yourselves. You hang around black women that talk smack about black men. You hang around black women that are overweight and ugly. You hang around black women that are bitter and hateful. And then you become more bitter and hateful. That's the problem with modern women. They're too masculine. They're like hyenas. It's time for modern women to stop being modern women. And if you genuinely want a man, be a feminine woman. That's all you have to do. But that's hard for the modern woman. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And you'll be able to see me in the next video that's coming up at the end of this clip. And until the next video, peace.